welcome back on this Thursday morning. So you'll probably need the snow brush or maybe the snow shovel by tomorrow morning. Not that we're going to have completely widespread snow, but some places will encounter light to moderate snow with some minor accumulation. So get ready for that. Uh, we do have uh, some advisories in place for today, as well as those wind chill advisories in the blue. Those go in effect for tonight through tomorrow because behind the system, we have colder air that filters in. Now at this moment, it's just some light snow that's been working in to parts of our western counties on Tanagan, as well as into Houghton counties, now starting to move into parts of western Barriga County at this moment. So a few slick spots could be possible on the west end. And this is that cold front that's moving through. Now, once it passes us, winds will increase behind this cold front and colder air will move in. So wind gusts today will be out of the northwest. By the afternoon, gush will be pushing 35 to near 40 miles per hour near Lake Superior. So that's going to cause some blowing snow to be a bit of an issue, mainly for the eastern counties of the UP, where more of the prominent lake effect bands will be setting up. There's going to be some blowing snow on the west end. I think the snow intensities will be a little bit more in the way of light to moderate. We're expecting some light lake effect in the central counties of the UP. This is how it looks as we put it into motion. There's a cold front with the light snow quickly moving on through by about mid morning and then the lake effect developing behind it with those northwesterly winds. And do you think we'll have more smaller bands of lake effect on the west end as compared to a few more prominent bands of lake effect in the eastern counties? This is where the intensity will be a little bit higher this afternoon, extending into the evening and then by tomorrow morning with winds decreasing and starting to shift we'll start to see an end to the lake effect snow. So the rest of tomorrow for Friday will just be mostly cloudy with some lighter winds and colder air. Snowfall amounts right around one to three inches of snow in the interior central counties, far western areas could range three to six and the eastern counties easily three to six. But with those more prominent bands, we could exceed six inches to near eight inches of snow in parts of Alger, northern school crafts, as well as eastern Luce County. As far as temperatures, this morning we're into the teens, but this is the highs for today. We will actually have temperatures fall throughout the course of the day into the single numbers by the afternoon. Tomorrow morning we wake up to temperatures in the teens below zero, but it will feel colder than that with wind chill readings in the 20s below zero tomorrow morning. So a bitterly cold morning ahead for you tomorrow. The pattern stays active behind this system. We'll have more clipper systems move in. Temperatures will moderate as we head into this weekend and then early next week we'll have more warmer conditions develop with temperatures back in